The child is below 18. Police speaks on Equarimada's organ harvesting case. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The UK Metropolitan Police has revealed that a child in the center of an organ harvesting case involving former Deputy Senate President E.K. Equarimado is below 18 years. Politics Nigeria on Thursday reported that Equarimada and his wife Beatrice were arrested for plotting to bring in a child from Nigeria for organ, organ harvesting. Both were charged with conspiracy to, to arrange or facilitate travel of another person with a view of exploitation, namely organ harvesting. They have been remanded in custody and will appear at the U.S. Bridge Magistrate's Court on Thursday. The Metropolitan Police revealed that the child who is under the age of 18 is in care. Organ harvesting involves removing parts of a body often for cash and against the victim's will. The police, however, did not reveal the gender or the actual age of a child or the location of the arrest. But given the suspect appearing in court in U.S. Bridge, it is likely that they were held at a nearby Heathrow airport. Ekwere Mario has been in the U.K. for at least two weeks, having met with members of the Nigerian community in Britain and Lincoln around 10 days ago. An investigation was launched into his activities after detectives were alerted to potential offences under modern slavery legislation in May. Politics Nigeria has gathered more details of the case following a court appearance by Ekwer Madu and his wife. The court had a couple who have four children on a house in Wild Willis Den, North London, hope to transplant the boys against their daughter who suffers from kidney failure. Police were alerted to potential offences under modern slavery laws last month and arrested a couple two days ago at Heathrow Airport as they attempted to board a plane to Turkey, the court heard. Ekwaremado's sister is said to have had £20,000 for euros. £20,000 20, euros in him at the time of his arrest, according to prosecutors. The child is now under the care of safeguarding authorities and the Metropolitan Police official C. Ekwaremadu, an accountant, an accountant wife, Beatrice, 55, are charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate travel of another person with a view to exploitation, namely organ arresting. The senator was wearing a gray sweater while his wife was wearing a black and white knitted cardigan as U.S. Bridge Magistrate Court today the Mail Online reported. Prosecutor Damla Ayas said it is conspiracy in relation to human trafficking, offenses for the purposes of organ harvesting. The victim in this case is 15 years old. They, the couple, were interviewed at a police station. Both of the defendants have provided, in, provided a prepared statement. Dr. Ek Mr. Ekwaremadu in his prepared statement, denied allegations of human trafficking. He said at no stage has he arranged a transport for anyone with the intention to exploit them. His wife similarly denied the allegation in a prepared statement the court heard. Gavin Irwin, representing Equarimado, said, There is no question this is a serious allegation. Mr. Equarimado is a member of the Senate in Nigeria. He has previously held an even more senior role as the deputy president, president of the Senate. Ms. Mrs. Ms. Aya said in respect of these offenses, after the general consent is required and the Crown requires 14 days for that to be obtained. Magistrate Louis Shirt said, These are serious allegations and these matters are now adjourned until 7th July back here at U.S. Bridge. Michelle reminded both defendants into custody ahead of their hearing next month. Their parameters are charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate travel of another person with a view to exploitation between 1st of August 2021 and 5th of May 2022 within the jurisdiction of Central Criminal Court. The investigation was launched by the Met Specialist Crime Team after detectives were alerted to potential offenses under modern slavery legislation in May 2022. The Met Police has confirmed that the boy is safe 
and bring dog after. <laughs> now, wow. Now, do you know what I'm seeing here? They are coming out to say this is the character of the Southeasterners. This is just the way they behave. Look at everything they are talking about here. To remove the boy kid and give it to his daughter, see wickedness. Nemesis has caught up with him. Woe betide anybody who will link evil people with criminality by making a nonsense comment. He was not united in backing their son. Ah, if he's not found guilty, let him be free. And if found guilty, he should serve the punishment. Any bull blood that is fighting against Peter B is digging his or her own grave. <laughs> anyway, in case you don't know why they're linking this friend thing to Peter B, even me, I don't like, I don't know, and I don't even like why they're linking it. They are saying that this man came out a few days ago to accuse Peter B. He came and he was kicked against the presidency of Peter B. And uh, the baby don't share that for his ass. That's the talk. So anybody will talk against Peter B. <laughs> Say, now so the person would collect. Let him face the consequences. UK is not a failed state like Nigeria. Anybody under 18 years is still a minor, of course, and cannot give consent both in Nigeria and in UK according to the laws of both countries. You should have done a profile research as it concerns UK instead of you thinking UK. Is Nigeria. I'm not be small go baby this way. This allegation, eh, if you ask me, it is very heavy. It is very heavy. Now look at what someone have to say. This person's own opinion. They refuse to build and take care of their own countries. They stole our money and used it to beautify another man's country. Now they are flying abroad for anything they want to do. This is how God will be catching all of you <laughs> one by one. I don't blame this man too. If you really wish this man to talk, na better matter, na better yan, yan so. And this is the same man that came out and said P2B cannot be president of Nigeria. Moral lesson learned. Before you plot another man's downfall in life, Check yourself first if you do not have anything. In other words, if you must have forgotten how they talk about that particular, um, should I say, idiom now. So, organ trafficking is bad, but until we, uh, the courts um, say he's guilty, for now, we keep your fingers crossed. He is not guilty until he's proclaimed guilty. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.